Hey fellow explorers, today I am out at the Orange International Street Fair. This is an annual festival held in Orange, California, and I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And so we'll start this tour at the Orange Circle. This is the historic part of the city of Orange. This is usually a traffic circle, but it's closed off for the three days here for this street festival on uh, the Labor Day weekend here in 2023. Now, Orange is a really neat neighborhood with lots of old, historic, brick-looking buildings, and in the main part of this circle, it's a lot of vendors, and so we've got um, a neat uh, old German restaurant in Huntington Beach that's exhibiting. We've even got a space up there that's for Ask the Mayor. Uh, so certainly some people come here to shop and peruse amongst the merchandise, but I think what a lot of people come to this street fair for is for the food. It is why it's called the International Street Fair, and there's a lot of food from different countries around the world. And so uh, the main exhibit shops around the circle, and then the food is around the four different streets from the circle. We'll take a look at each of those as we go. Now, old buildings. We've got an old Masonic temple right here, which is up on the second floor, and it's a Chase Bank down at the bottom. Most of the food vendors are generally nonprofits, things like schools or some of the lodges that are here. Uh, and uh, this is where we'll see Australia Street. Now, definitely drinking beer out on the street is something that is popular here. How much is a beer gonna cost you? It's gonna cost you $6 for one if you want a Michelob Ultra. All right, I wanna take you on this side of the street because this is where like the food stalls are actually open. And uh, so what are they selling here? At the Australia booth, they've got cheesy Dagwood dogs for $11 tater tots um yeah I, okay i guess that's australian food we've got lebanon street sponsored by a catholic church in orange where we have beef shawarma and chicken shawarma they're grilling this up fresh right in front of you so you know it's tasty and then they got all the people back there plating it up into all the tasty plates that people order. The stores around here, there are a lot of antique shops, and so you can go antiquing along your way as you eat yourself through the different countries of the world. We've got friendly people here from El Modena Baseball. As I mentioned, a lot of these stalls all go to support different nonprofits. Here we have Orange Hills Church, which is selling up beignets right there with some chocolate sauce on them, or maybe even some strawberry sauce. The beignets are $8. Old school record store back here on this side. Most of these stalls are cash only, and so they put up a lot of ATMs that you can get money out if you didn't bring it with you. Here we've got orange chicken, sweet chili bowls, fresh lemonade, um, surprisingly busy uh, compared to the rest of the food over here. If you're coming at a time that isn't the food festival and you're walking through here and you're looking for something to eat, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants is back here called uh, Don Jefe Jalapeno's Grill. Really good carne asada over there. This is the Polynesian section. So we have Kahlua pork sliders for $8. And uh, then back here in the back, we have the Polynesian stage where they have some Polynesian dancers that look like they are getting ready to perform back here. And you can see the uh, mob is already forming to watch it. All right, I'm gonna take you back out to the circle and we'll continue from there. Okay, we're back at the Australia booth that was selling the corn dogs and the tater tots back at the orange circle and we're gonna work our way around here clockwise. We're gonna check out the Ask the Mayor booth because seriously, there is the mayor over here. Uh, we picked up some shirts from this little vendor. We thought these uh, shirts with the like the dinosaur playing the guitar or the cat playing the guitar were pretty fun. Uh, $10 for a shirt at that vendor. There we go, ask the mayor. If you have a question for the mayor of the city of Orange, you can ask him right here in his shirt with 
oranges on it, as you would expect. We've got the United Neighborhoods of Orange. We got cotton candy. We've got kettle corn. Uh, we have this is I felt like an interesting place selling trace leches cakes that were like ube flavor and matcha flavor. Who we've got? Who's this guy? The Elks, the Elks Lodge, of Orange County, all American Legion Lodge there. All right, that's fun. This is the main stage where you hear the music coming from now. We'll check that out on our way around this way. But now we're gonna head down this street of the circle. Uh, Glassell Street is the main street that we were just on. Uh, and then this is Chapman, if my uh, geographic memory serves me correctly. We've got the Margarita Cantina right here. <laughs> and uh, we've got corn on the cob. How much is corn on the cob? $6 for corn on the cob, $5 for some corn. lemonade corn. This is, the, this is the place to get your corn. All right. Woo! Woo! Happy people here. You know, it's funny how like one guy doesn't want to be on camera, but then everybody else is like, woo! So yeah, most people here are definitely in the, the woo category. Here we've got funnel cakes for $12. Then uh, at Orange Street, We've got a, like a kitty land where they've got face painting and they've got like a bounce house back there. There's a band on this side playing some Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville. And he just passed away, I think either today or yesterday uh, in, in his 70s. So uh, rest in peace, Jimmy Buffett. All right, here we got Dippin' Dots ice cream, the ice cream from the future. That's like these little, these little dots that the ice cream's made out of. Uh, we've got spiral potatoes, potatoes that are made in like this rotato thing, fried and served on a stick. They look just like that. Or they look just like this, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Uh, now, here in the Ireland section, this is put on by La Purosima Catholic School. And they've got Irish sausage with all the fixings, which uh, include like a sausage sandwich that you can get nacho cheese on. This is the Old Town Preservation Association at Irish Street. They have a little band over here. Now you'll notice these chairs, one of the I don't know if I'll say like things I would do next time coming here. If you're planning to come here and spend the day and enjoy the music and enjoy some drinks, I'd bring your own chair uh, because what you'll notice there's a lack of is there is a huge lack of actual places to sit to enjoy your drinks, to enjoy the music, and to enjoy your food. So bring a beach chair if you plan to spend uh, a while here. All right. There's a, um, we're next to Chapman University, university just a few blocks away, and so uh, they have like a number of these museums, uh, and that one's one of their art museums. Free, open to the public, no admission, so that's kinda cool. This little spot over here uh, is where we saw the band, heard the band playing Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Sounds like they're on a little bit of a break right now. But you can see, without any place to sit, everybody's just hanging out on the sidewalk, hanging out here. Not too close, because a little loud if it's really quite close. All right. And uh, as we make our way out to the circle, where you see those tall trees, that's the historic circle. This building is a really cool historic Wells Fargo bank. Uh, COVID killed the bank, but there's a really neat coffee shop in there. And if you wanna see like a old school bank, uh, definitely head in there to the Wells Fargo. There's a lot of international food here in Orange just to begin with. And so we've got a outpost for some Japanese ramen noodles. And this brings us over to the main stage. What are they performing right now? We'll just listen to it as we walk by.
All right, there we go. Some cool music. And this brings us down to the street where we see Switzerland, England, Brazil, and Mexico. And uh, then the last street, which is this way. We've got Italy. We've got uh, Greece that are down there. And so definitely like the busiest vendor that I saw here was definitely the Greek church that was doing gyros up there. I want to point this out. This stall is selling uh, kimonos made from vintage silk. That's cool. This one has like some neat giraffes. Our, uh, our three-year-old daughter, she really enjoyed looking at those giraffes. Where is she? She is over at that main stage getting entertained right now and uh, bringing us this way. What I also want to point out in the Italian section uh, is they've got Italian sausage sandwiches that look really fun. And look at all these bubbles. There was a stall here selling these like amazing bubble guns. I've never seen so many bubbles. So all right, fellow explorers, if your travels bring you to Orange County or you just happen to live here and you're here in the summer when the Orange International Street Festival is on, come here, check it out. Do you plan to get here maybe early in the morning though so you can actually park? It's a pretty popular place. You might have to walk a long way if you come here middle of the day. All right, as usual, I won't say goodbye. Maybe I'll see you in one of my videos right here, my whole playlist on all of my Orange County travel guides. All right, I'll see you there.